hello friends welcome in innovacy technology this is the next video part 2 video on flashback future actually today i'm going to show you the traditionally point in time recovery which is uh, the slow is uh, the flashback future okay so flashback future is a very fast future and uh, traditional that traditionally point in time recovery is a very slow method to recover the data so today i'm discuss with you the traditionally recovery using the point in time okay let's see first of all i have to open a database and login in a data okay now i'm logging in on the database let me clear the screen okay now I'm going to create a table and insert some record in that table then I'm using the flashback traditional point in time recovery method okay let's see okay now I'm connected with my Scott user okay now I'm trying to point in time recovery create a table so I'm creating here uh, a table which is name is ABC and as let us start on that so from that table I'm getting all the data in the ABC table and in the ABC table I have that record right now okay now I'm going to change some records in that table using update command okay friend I'm writing here that query which is update the value of department number 30 and right now here 30 department uh, is location is Chicago and I'm um, update it daily right next hit enter and then your query will be executed then commit after that uh, I have run here one more query insert query so I'm inserting one record in the table right now after that I'm, I have completed the commit statement okay now I'm um, open the my time set time on so using the set time on your time is continuously running with your SQL star and SQL command SQL count so now I'm trying to update one more rows using update command location location suppose I want to change the this one location New York location okay I'm setting to uh, mm, S R E S R and book and where department number is equal to 10 so Here we are running run three DML operations on that on the EMP table and then perform commit operation. So now suppose now you want to check out the previous record of that table, which is name is ABC. Right now all record of that table is that, and then now right now as the record it contain that these all are records, right? there is something will be changed in the table so now you want to see the all record in the table what which one and how many employees in that in that time in your table and uh, what is the value of location and the name location and department okay let's see i'm going to performing until time recovery sorry point in time recovery okay you can see let's see need a system date right now so if you can check your system date select this date from here. so today date is 12 December 15 right so now I'm going to perform that recovery okay so you can write here your command 
plus the star from ABC enter timestamp using a as of timestamp keyword as of timestamp it is a keyword and then two underscore timestamp where you view you are the time value and date value so I am giving here you are in date value that is that and uh, what is the time in where you want to pack so suppose you providing here the time is is that like this okay and then uh, here the clarify your date format and the time format td m1 yy yy and sh24 mi and ss okay then semicolon then enter hit enter so it's showing you all the report which is a changing after that time so i would ch change only one report after that time which is the location of department number 10 and it is new york and i will change it sre okay and uh, it's saying here also sre when i'm checking that but after that uh, query i'm giving here the time all the time before the changing so it's saying all the changes so suppose if you want to view these also all the value of that uh, department number and uh, also department number 30 so you have to know the time before that so suppose approximately i'm giving you the time like it is 40 uh, 46 7 46 7 minutes and to that time So it is remove that row because of that that rows we are inserting before after before the creating of the table sorry after the creating of the table and uh, also change the 14 13 department number but uh, in that time your department number 30 is always not come back because time also I think uh, it's 45 or 46 minutes okay so friends you can use that uh, the traditionally point in time recovery so see you in the next video where i'm describe the flashback version query okay thank you for listening thank you